magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Annalise. Once, quite by chance, there was an extraordinary old universe of worlds and wonder, of moons and magic. And moving through this universe was a familiar old world of cities and streets, of trees and cars. And there, in an ordinary house, on an ordinary chair, was a boy in whose head was locked an untold story as extraordinary as anything that old universe had ever seen or heard. <coughs> we, um, we have concluded our consultation, and being of one mind... The best in all medicine, may we add. We have come to the conclusion that your son... Will not, nor cannot... Speak, communicate, nor indeed... Relate in any way to the world around him. But doctors, we know that. He hasn't said a word for such a long time. Can't you give us some hope that... He will finally speak? Alas, the case is hopeless. See that he is kept warm and comfortable and safe from all danger. Of course, one can always hope for a, a, a miracle. But, but we, we frown on, on that. His name is Jackie Draper. And don't worry. Magnificent things are about to happen. I beg your pardon. Could you tell me if you just saw a dragon pass by? I could swear I saw one. <laughs> Most unusual nowadays. Your mirror across the room. I did see a dragon. Me. <laughs> May I consider that an invitation? I shall have to make myself smaller to fit. No trouble. Just magic. I've come to help you, Jackie. To help you help yourself. Somewhere under all this stuff, glass slipper... Alice's mushroom, Peter's shadow, gold spun from straw, yellow brick. Ah, here we are. Construction paper, a crayon and scissors. I'm one of the few dragons ever to have a song. That is because instead of destroying things, I try to muddle through. Ah, here we are. Jackie Draper, this is Jackie Paper. Now, I'm going to borrow the living thing inside you and place it inside Jackie Paper. Your living thing. You wonder what it is. It is that which causes you to laugh and to cry to hurt and to care. It's that which makes apples crunchy and tells your nose to tingle on a crystal winter's morning. It's kept in your left ear, you know. Quick, before we catch cold. Am I all better? Well, we'll see. To be truly better, you must make a journey with me. Impossible for Jackie Draper, but Jackie Paper, he can go anywhere, so long as it's magic. Come along now. But where are we going? <laughs> That's a good question, Jackie. We're going to Hanali. What's Hanali? My kingdom by the sea. Well, it's not exactly a kingdom. It's a kingdom few acres and independence, but it is rather magical. Let me show you. Oh, it's beautiful. 
it's Hana Lee. Is it far away? As far as your fondest hope, and hopefully as near as your sweetest dream. Come along now. We'll build a boat. I'm afraid. Well, isn't everybody? Ah, oh, Jackie, that's why I want you to visit Hana Lee. But I've got to get there first, and I'm afraid of the sea. I want you to draw a picture of the sea on this window shade. Take my crayon. Okay, but it's gonna be scary. No wonder. I I suppose it can be that way, but if you'll just look through my puff, I'll show you how it might be. That way too. Mm hmm. I like you, Puff. Hey, let's build a boat. With what? I got stuff. All kinds of stuff. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. We can use my bed as the hall. Magnificent. We'll cross the ocean on a magic boat, a magic boat, a magic boat. Let's cross the ocean on a magic boat and, and sail across the water. Let's make the mainmast out of my bed post, my bed post, my bed post. We'll make the mainmast out of your bed post. Sail across the water When we get to our magic land Yes, we can of your guitar and sail across the water now we can sail away to Hanali On a boat with billowed sail, Jackie kept a lookout, perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble Hi. kings and princes would bow when e'er they came. Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name. Pirates, real, ugly, ferocious pirates. Puff, I'm afraid. Take me back home. Jackie, didn't you know once you set out for Hanalee, there is no turning back? To find your way home, you must first find Hanalee. But, Puff, I don't want to see any p -p pirates. <laughs> is a pirate. Take me back! Take me back! I can't, Jackie. I told you. I'm long, John. Very long. Black and blue beard kid. I'm bigger than me. And here I reign. The main Spanish pirate of the Spanish main. <laughs> he certainly is very long. What are you going to do with us? Have no fear. I'll think of something terrible! What do we do? He said it. Have no fear. I'm scared to have no fear. Jackie, the first step in not being afraid is to see things as they really are. Just look through the ring, Jackie. You'll see. You mean underneath all that pirate stuff, Fairy Long John Black and Blueberry Kid is just a baker at heart? 
Mm-hmm. Take care of him, Jackie. He's so much bigger than I am. Use your wits, Jackie. You can do it. Well, little boy. <laughs> what are your last words? Uh, well, very long, sir. Uh, can you bake a cherry pie very long, very long? Can you bake a cherry pie very long, John? I can bake a cherry pie quick as a cat can wink its eye. <laughs> Pumpkin Peach, and a half a dozen others. I don't believe you. You you don't believe me? You're a pretty good pirate, but a baker, never. I'll destroy you! But first, I'll make you eat your words. <laughs> I adore eating my words, but your pies are even better. Mm. Best pies I ever tasted in my whole mouth. Oh, oh really? Oh, I, I've never been so happy. <laughs> oh, if only I could be a baker instead of an evil giant pirate. <laughs> well, you can always change. Everybody can change, can't they, Puff? So I'm given to understand. Yeah, just make up your mind and do it. And you're so big, you just gotta have lots of mind to make up. Oh, 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 oh I'm a new man. Oh, no, 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 I'm an old man with a new heart. <laughs> It's not the sea's fault, it's the clouds. Why do they look so angry? They're jealous. They're jealous of the stars. You see, the stars can fly a thousand, thousand times higher than those clouds can even imagine. And so, like all small-spirited and stupid beings, they believe that they can deny beauty by hiding it. Falling star. Ah, oh, poor little thing. Listen to them. They're always happy when a star dies. But she's not dead, Puff. She wants to talk, but can't. Oh, I know just how she feels. We've got to save her. Alas, it's hopeless. Soon she will be nothing more than a cinder unless somehow she can be hung back on her orbit. Well, let's figure out a way to get her back up there. We'll make the boat fly. Use your magic. Paint some wings. Why don't I paint some wings? It's too heavy. We'll have to unload some ballast. Me. Take her up. Alone? I don't know how. I'm afraid. Jackie, believe in yourself. Have the courage to try. That's the second step to not being afraid. You may fail, but at least you have made the effort. I'll, I'll try. back as sure as my name is Jackie Paper. Thank you. What's that? A medal for bravery. I was brave. I took another step. Mm -hmm. Land ho! So it would seem. 
But where are we? What an awful looking place. It, it can't be. What's wrong? Don't you recognize it? It's, it's Hana Lee. Hana Lee? But, but what happened to it? Something terrible while I was gone. Come on, let's take a look around. Oh, no, no, I'm afraid. You, Pa? Mm -hmm. Just like I was before you came. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's my turn to help now. Come on. Look, there's a sign. Hmm. Bow down low. Get on your kneeses. You are now on the Isle of the Living Sneezes. This means you, Kachu. You too. What's a living sneeze? <laughs> Shoo! Are you a living sneeze, sir? What do I look like? A hiccup? <laughs> Don't you fret, Puff. I'll take care of this. Do you realize you're trespassing? So what? <laughs> I'm sure Puff wouldn't mind. He shares everything. But why do you ruin things? Because we're uncomfortable. But why are you uncomfortable? Uh, wouldn't you be if you was nothing but a nose? All stopped up and red and sore. I get it. Puff, they are what they are because they feel so awful. Use your magic to make them better. Anna Lee is my magic. And if it is spoiled, so are my powers. Pa! Jackie, this is no place for you. You must go home. You've completed your quest, and you don't seem frightened anymore. No, I wouldn't leave you. You must. I have all I can do to put up with the sneezes. You'd be a... Oh, just a bother. I want you to go and take the boat and... Well, I want you to take the boat and go. Yes, sir, if you say so. A dragon lives forever, but not so little boys. Painted wings and giant's rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, jerky paper came no more. And puff that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane without his lifelong friend. Puff could not be brave, so Puff that mighty dragon sadly slipped into his cave. Tomorrow and fill my 
It's time for you to return. And time is far stronger than magic. But, Puff. Well, now, as I promised, you helped yourself. In doing so, you helped me. And now it's time to be truly brave. To face growing up. To be Jackie Draper. And eventually to go beyond childish fancies such as dragons and not need them anymore. Unless absolutely necessary. I'll never leave you, Puff. Well, we'll see. Come along now. Now, it's all up to you. Goodbye, Jackie. Chicken soup. Puff? 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 Jackie! Jackie! Oh, my son. Mom? Dad? He's talking. Oh, Mom? Dad? I beg your pardon. Did you happen to see a dragon pass by? Oh, the mirror. I did see a dragon. Me. By the way, where's your fancy stuff? <laughs> 